interesting reading. I can already tell. So I'm not trying to be, uh, there's no triggering here, but what I'm seeing guys, I just want to be honest with you. Um, there's an energy of you. There's two energies here. Okay. Now you may be alone. You may be single, or you may be waiting for someone. Um, and it's been a lonely journey waiting for this person. If you think other people have it all, they have a perfect relationship. They have everything that you want. And what my message for you is actually, no, the grass is not greener over there. And what the problem is here in this situation that you're dealing with is actually internal. It's your self issues. Um, you really feel like you deserve this and you deserve to have everything you want. And you do. You deserve to have everything you want. But until you are ready internally to understand that you are whole and that other people, what they have, it is not necessarily better. Um, you're going to be in this bubble. It's almost like a little bit of an illusion here where you're really focused on what you don't have. And you need to kind of expand and understand um, the grass is not always greener. And in this case, it has nothing to do with the grass. It has to do with your dissatisfaction with your life or with your situation. But it's you who changes that. So we'll see what's happening and what's going on, Leos. I was really shocked to get this message from you or for you. But it happens, right? And I do feel that you are kind of tired of being alone. But if you're waiting for someone, like if you're expecting someone to come back and stuff, it's you that has to do the work. That's what I'm getting. It's a very strong message. There may be things you don't want to face or deal with. And it's you. And then only then um, will you truly get everything you desire when you stop putting the blame on other people or the energy of like, oh, why do they have that? And I don't have that type of thing. Okay. So Leo, that's just a side message. We'll see what's going on here. We have this sign, like you're coming out strong, Leo. This is your energy, but it's here with the tower. I truly get this feeling like you've been positive for a very long time and you're just tired of not having what you want. And I'm sorry because like it's a strong energy, but I do see you see other people very happy. And I do even feel at one point you were trying to be very happy, trying to portray that, but it's all in yourself. Like there's something here. It's like, you have everything to offer and you have no one to share it with. And that's really bothering you, but it's okay because at this time, clearly that's what's meant to happen. So I did see the Empress and now I am seeing the Emperor in reverse. I feel like you have a love connection that is not happening at this moment. And that may be part of the reason um, why you're feeling lackful. It's a really strong love connection from what I see, but it's it's kind of disappeared or disintegrated, not in a bad way, not disintegrated wouldn't be the best word. Disappeared is what I am getting clearly, okay? It's disappeared. Why has it disappeared? Let's clarify that first of all, because you know what? I already know it has to do with you. So we have the temperance and we have the two of wands. Um, this is an energy of needing to heal, needing to be grateful for what you have and there's this energy like you're blocking something out by the way uh let's clarify what that is there may be someone else trying to come into you and you don't want them you're, you might be saying like no I, I i'll be alone now what is that about i really do feel like there's an energy like that here you may have two people to choose from leo but the one that's here ready for you you don't want you rather be alone from why exactly is that about because you have love for someone else yeah you have love for someone that's not making a choice between you and another person or just like not making it doesn't have to be with you and another person but you have love for someone that's not making a choice okay they're kind of delaying this choice it's driving you crazy is what i get um, you might be dealing with someone who's actually, I want to say kind of just like you, or it could be even a twin energy, um, but it's like, they're not making a choice and you're getting angry. Uh, wow. This is interesting. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. They're, what they're not making a choice to do is to take action. Action. Here we have the king of wands that flipped over. Hmm. Now, why is this showing up? It could be because this person is dealing with another relationship. That could be what you're watching and thinking is so perfect. Um, wondering why isn't this person coming to you? Why isn't this person coming to you? 
Okay, so we have the Moon card, the King of Pentacles, and is this the Four of Wands? So really what I get here, I know it's going to probably make someone mad or people, you know, angered. This person isn't coming to you because, first of all, there could, they're not making a decision. There's two Pentacles in the King of Pentacles, first of all. They're afraid to make a decision, second of all, probably because two people involved here. And the third thing of all, what I get is this person has such a strong connection with you. They're worried about coming in to your life and it not turning out. Leo, I'm getting this energy like you're very up and down right now and your person is picking up on that. High priestess, that your person is energetically picking up possibly even on your anger that this person has not come in just yet. I just feel like it has to come back down to you clearing your energy, okay? So what do we suggest for Leo? Let's get right into that. And here we do have the hermit and the hangman. So it's about going within and wondering, not wondering, clearing out, like, why are you so attached? Why are you so attached? Why are you so attached? You know, why are you? Let's ask. Why is Leo so attached to this? The Seven of Cups... And the Six of Swords. And what I feel with that is that you still have healing and clearing to do. It could be about partnerships in general. It could be about this desire you have for this true love. And I understand, guys. Okay, I can tell you firsthand experience. Let's see what's come out here. Yeah, you really want this person to come in, and this person is holding back. Now, this is, I'm really feeling that you are energetically a part of that because you want it so bad you're so focused on it that it's pushing it away leo so what i could suggest personally in this position is for you to get happy alone for you to get out for you to get out of your shell um to go out and realize there is no lack the grass is not greener over there the grass is greener and i don't always say that i believe that sometimes the grass is greener but not when you're like this. You're you're not even uplifting yourself. You're keeping yourself in this mental bubble that you don't have what you want. And actually, you can realize, look at Empress, here you are, Leo. You have everything. You have to shut down certain thoughts. You have to shut down lackful thoughts. Um, you have everything. You have the Empress. There's a world. I'm hearing you have the whole world in your hand. Leo... It's weird because you really do have it all, but maybe you're not sharing it. Maybe you're not enjoying it. Maybe you're so focused on this emperor in reverse who's not coming in for the new beginning right now because they're not making a choice. It may be between you and money, okay? Yes, there could be another situation, but it could just literally be the other situation is financial and Let's get to this. The Emperor in Reverse. What is this about? So, guys, there is an extended on Patreon, by the way, if you're interested. Uh, so, yeah, it's a financial issue here. Um, and this person is kind of going back and forth about what to do. I feel like this person right now is looking at what they have invested in or what they have put an effort into, even though it doesn't feel right. They don't know how to go about this love situation. And let's see what that's about. Yeah. So we have the Nine of Cups, which is saying, like, they definitely feel this connection with you. But we have the Devil. I do feel this person is tied up to something else. But it could really be finances. Because in this Devil card, as you can see really clearly, um, it's not, like, about two people particularly. There's actually about four or five people in this picture. Um, but what there is for sure is finances, work, industry, oil industry in the background there, like uh, importing, exporting type of stuff. A lot of people, this person deals with a lot of people is what I get. Though they want to come to you and you are a wish to them, there is a lot of love there. This person is tied to something else and it has to do with money. Look at this king of pentacles. When do we see a king of pentacles with two pentacles? See? So this person may have a lot of money coming in. Let's see what else is happening um, for Leo. One more card from this deck. Here we go. So we have the queen of pentacles. So yes, this does, does tell me that there could be uh, also 
um, uh, a marriage or also like, you know, and maybe it's not, did I say married to the money? Cause I'm hearing that again, married to the money. We have a King and Queen of Pentacles here. 